All right, everyone, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. And in this episode, we're back in St. Denis, picking up right where we left off, pretty much. And um, I think in this episode, we're going to be exploring a little bit of uh, St. Denis itself. There's a supposed uh, underground... Uh, some sort of underground dealing that's going on with the gunsmith here in St. Denis, essentially. So we need to check that out. And I don't know if we have any other, like, you know, stranger missions or anything like that. But I think we're just going to continue on. Uh, we have a mission for Hosea. So we're going to go check that out. But let's get back into it. Welcome back. Isn't it time to end this What's up, man? I only stock the best in my shop. Thanks. I kind of cleaned Arthur up. Monsieur? Just walking through the city. Be How do you, you do? <coughs> you know, they're saying the city's revised school charter doesn't even pretend to offer francophone subject matter. I'll only shut up one second. So, okay. Not much to do other than look at that gunsmith. Oh, tend to try us. Hola. This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. So rude. Excuse me. Hi, uh, folks. Ma'am, quand on vous voit. Hey. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. Hey boy, Arthur. You are a true progressive. Hey boy. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. <clears throat> I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> All right, let's go check out this gunsmith, and let's see what's going on there. I don't know if there is anything crazy to say, but she can't keep a house to save her life. I wouldn't stay for it. I come home and the potatoes aren't even boiled. I tell her I work all day. You can't even boil a potato. You gotta put your foot down. See, I get home, oh, I check everything. Give a room, every <clears throat> shelf, and yeah, the same and would it be too much to come home to a poor drink oh, movie once theater. in a blue moon? Here! Oh, come on! God, what in God's name? Y'all wanted a drink? There you, you go. Lady? Now shut the oh, hell I up. Can't. You She's out of her mind. What's wrong with you? Come on. Let's go. Oh, what the this. hell's with everyone around here? Poured shit on him. All right, we're gonna get Bucky over here. Let's see if we can get this horse over here, man. Mister. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Well, good luck to you. Y'all take care now. Excuse me, partner. Oh, an American. Come on, people. Let me vote. A lot of people in this city. Tell 
Victor. Watch out before you ran over my wagon. All right. Welcome back. You must have been traveling for a while. Let me know if I can help you choosing something. Hey, you shouldn't be there. Hmm. Unopened mail. Yeah, there's something upstairs. We gotta figure out what that is. Don't you get where we are? I need you Just what I need. Oh, very rainy. How do you do? Hey, mister. Hey there. Hey, sir. Partner? Itself up. Apparently, the cats of Saint Denis are uh, messed up too. Alright, we need to find a way to get up there. Maybe there is a way we can climb up there. Oh my gosh, this poor cat, dude. Poor cat. cat somewhere safe. I'm not doing anything to the cat. Hey, stop there a minute, will you? This you? Hey, you don't think I did this. Time for the law stop, on this. I'll kill you. Damn it. I need to hear you say it. Uh -huh. Don't you worry. I can keep you safe. Guess it's just always like this, huh? All right. I was just trying to move the cat, man. Is there any way we can... I'm just looking for a way up. There might be. There might not. Looks like there might be a way up. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see if there's a way into the back of the gunsmith itself. Out of the damn way! Okay, I don't think so. Getting our jogging in. Let's try to figure this out. Glad to see you back, sir. It's good to be back. Um. Well, I just think we have to figure this one out on our own. Um. When you're ready to spend. Yeah, man. I, I mean, this is what's gonna have to happen. I'll be honest. No need to cover your face. Well, we're fixing to do. Okay, then. Let's go. Exactly what we did not want to happen, dude. Oh, fuck. Can I place this?
got this nice and under control. Don't you go away before I speak to you. So why exactly are you here? You think this is a game? Hey man, just take me in, man. I don't know, but I got a feeling okay, you ought to come I mean... to the station house. I'm through with this shit. You're mine. Alright, well, listen. There was gonna be something there, but I don't know how we we're supposed to get in there. I don't think we can use dynamite. Oh. Mr. Bounty Hunter. What the fuck is this shit? Mr. Carpetbagger. <laughs> it's not one man you're messing with now. Y'all are messing with. Dude's like taking a shit on us, man. I'm being honest with you. Come back to that. We won't do that right now. That's kind of stupid. Is there anything else we can do around here? A little bit of a, a little bit of a rough start there, but we're gonna see what Jose is up to. Getting sick and tired of this city, anyways. Hey there, Mister. Time to skedaddle. Time to do some free roam. Should check that. Yeah. We'll check it. We'll check it later. Riding hard, hardly riding. Back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are enjoying the series. Who is it? It's me. Personally, I'm I'm enjoying it. I know it's long. I know, but if you if you're actually following, you would be like, whoa, dude, crazy shit's going down. Nonetheless. Here we are back at camp. There's not much going on at camp either. Uh, I mean, they need food. They need food and they need a little bit of supplies, but. Okay, Hosea. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! We 
really are ridiculous. <laughs> oh, shit. Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Man, that's just... Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he's expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Follow the escort. Alright, I just want to make sure we're still good. <clears throat> we're still good, man. So, are, I don't know if we're meeting up with Angela Bronte. Actually, I think we might be. Boys, you arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me, like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war, I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll Please. save you. <laughs> guy's not good. And that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. 
They keep a lot of cash during the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> So he just took okay, us off for a trolley. This will be no problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Mm. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Evening. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. particularly like. Hello there. Well, How are you considered all? Lemoyne National Bank. Oh. How's it going? Very well, well, thank you. big bank, sir. Good. All the best we now. We borrow a lot have of money and generate a lot Even of cash. All? How have you been? <laughs> all right, so this is... Let's talk to that guy. Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Talking to people. To do oh, you're not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. This is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh, I don't live here. I was here for the poker. Oh, you play? Oh, it's, um, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of others. <laughs> <laughs> not whipping, sir, working, and besides, my vice is between me and my maker. I keep winning. Every gambler says that, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> yes, I know. But like I said, the next big tournament, which I will not be attending, is for a game too rich for my blood. I may be a knave, but I am a sensible knave. Is that so? Oh, sure. I'm not a wealthy man. I run a prison. The old riverboat tournaments are for card sharks and rich fools. A James. really big stakes game attracts oil men and such, like, well, from all over. My pockets are not deep enough for that. You are a wise man. Hmm. I'm a conservative man, at least. 
The fact is, since the war, the government has done an awful job of preserving law and order, Mr. Jameson. Mm. Well, I agree, Major. Well, at my present, we are doing the best to remedy that fear. You know, my friend works in the Caribbean. He faces... Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. And clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> How was the show? I heard you went to. <laughs> It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you, Mikulo? <laughs> Hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Get on out of here, buddy. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. You can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Oh shit. Man. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! I think I might have, let me be honest with you guys, I think I might have skipped this one. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Mr. Please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please you say something about Cornwall? Yes. yes. Find out what? Sure. Assassin's Creed mode. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turk. So this has to do with Leviticus. Leviticus Is that taking care of the telephone? It keeps ringing. The mayor said he would sign later. So it seems that we keep uh, intersecting past uh, Leviticus Marie. Cornwall, which is not Find good. Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me.
look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. That's it! Guards! Guards! We have an intruder! Ah, oh, fuck. I thought we were supposed to knock him out, maybe. But... I think I was just supposed to wait for him to leave, essentially. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Look at the size of that harp. Chip and beat him. I will not have standards slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is 
a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. I'd say so. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Hmm. Well, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Let <sighs> me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. All right. Looks like things are on the up a little bit. What do we got going now? A mission for Trelawney. A little question mark mission right there as well. Got some mail at the uh, station. Oh shit. See you Dutch. I didn't know we could get out on this uh, roof here. Hey. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. You okay? I'm bored. Well, go find some mischief to get up to. Let me know if you I find candy. You what, little Miss Romance. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood. In town? Mm. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's frightened of romance, Arthur. So she makes some nonsense. Don't we all? <laughs> Yeah, it's just nonsense, Mary Beth. There's not uh, vampires in Saint Denis. <laughs> Uncle, what are you doing? Uncle 
sleeping. Javier Escuela. you a favor if, if it's convenient I mean sure if you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning would you mind grabbing them for me season yes don't tell mr. Pearson <laughs> okay <laughs> I'll see what I can do Hey, boy. <laughs> Named by Dutch, Kane loves attention and has found a new family with the game. Hello, boy. I think we're gonna ride up in the Saint Denis. Um, and when we get there, we're gonna go to the post office. to be out of that suit? Never again. I hated every minute of that party. <laughs> well, we got some good leads out of it. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure, Morgan. We'll need more food soon, Mr. Morgan. I hear you, Mr. Pearson. Feel free to go and catch it yourself. I had bad luck with deer, sir. But if you set me out to sea, I'll catch you a feast. Yeah, we gotta get some deer. Charles? Hey. Oh, we have a mission for Sadie? Morgan, folks is wondering what's happened to you. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right. That's the point. That's the point. Work, Mr. Morgan. Folk need feeding. I never took you for the lazy type. Hmm. All right, all right.
How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the <laughs> San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, no. What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Mr. Driscoll. Mr. Boys are coming! Oh, gosh. Get Jack, get Jack, get Jack. We're supposed to go inside the bitch. Alright. Hey man, we were <laughs> There were some Driscoll's to kill. <clears throat> what can I say?
take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Oh, man. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Colm O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Yikes. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. Okay, I'll catch you later then. She's right, covered Arthur. in blood. Oh my gosh. That 
something more peaceful after that. I reckon what we're gonna do is we need to hunt some deer. Dutch has that train mission. There's a stranger mission in Saint Denis, mission for Trelawney. Um, we need to go to the post office for sure. See if this horse is going crazy about. Stay, girl. What's going on? What's going on? Sorry, girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. Hey, easy, girl. Good deal. All right, let's go look for uh, All right, girl. Go look for a deer, I guess. Okay then. All right. It's time to see what we can find. Hummingbird Sage.
to get two but we'll take the one we'll take the one for now See a deer over there. Stay here, boy. swim. All right, let's try this again, shall we? That is how it's done. Actually, we'll just go ahead and field dress this one, take it back. Take it back to camp with us.
little addition to the stew donation. Gotta get this deer back pretty soon. 77 degrees, which means deer would spoil pretty easy. Quickly. Dang, dude. Horse just took a shit, man. Come on, pal. I think that might be Kieran's grave. We'll yeah. come back and see. Sean, not Kieran. <gasps> Miss Grimshaw was him hawing about me not pulling my weight, dude. For Micah. Come here, Arthur. I will say, Arthur. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. No reason. Oh. All right. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always <laughs> talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. <laughs> There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. 
<laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charmville. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. Your proof of that. Amuse him. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. Would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. No, I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quick. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. So you're saying again. we need to cut John We loose. could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. <laughs> you just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay, here we are. Hold. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Charges, Morgan. About time you did something. Where they at? Uh.
party. good all right best we get out of here we'll split that up later i trust you cowpoke go on i'll see you back at camp come on now boy Strong one, boy. Yep. Excuse me. This was your handiwork, wasn't Just it? Just shut up, damn it. You twitch on that gun this and I'll... This, this is on you. Yeah. Well, that wasn't too good, but... I think... That's how it goes when you do a mission with Mike and Bill. Go, boy. All right, let's make a move.
maybe next time. See if anything's biting. Something's moving around. Come on, boy. All right, well, it's about 8.21. I reckon we can call it a night there.
please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. There you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I have waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah. I can't give you I more bet. than my thanks. But you surely have that, mister. I'll take it. Just keep out of sight for a bit. Oh, I intend to. It's not even really like a stranger mission, it's more of like a, well it's a main mission, so. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. <sighs> so, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. 
Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hmm. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Meet Eagle Flies near Cor Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar. Okay, so in a couple days that should pop up. Come on. Good morning, partner. Come on. Get Adam, clear. Adam, back here. Bonjour. You seem full of joys of spring, miss. Merci. You be well now. A bientôt. Any bounties? Hello? No bounties. Hey there, partner. Get lost. I'm more than happy to put you back in jail so you watch yourself. <laughs> okay then, sir? Gloat all you like, you sons of bitches. We're gonna have the last laugh. That's right, we coming back stronger. Alright. Alright, you guys. I think I'm going to leave this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 right here. This is a good stopping point. Um, so, we're getting ready to do this uh, trolley mission with Dutch. There's a bank robbery that we're going to do with um, the whole gang, I think. And, yeah. So, we're just kind of moving through the motions, to be honest with you. We had that massive O'Driscoll invasion at the uh, Shady Bell camp there and that was quite the event so who really knows what else is going to happen and we just spoke to eagle flies and rains fall so that's kind of interesting to see where that branch of the story might go now so yeah it's it's it's, it's kind of ramping up it's kind of getting a little bit more intense as we go it kind of seems like there's some things building up that we might not have control over so We'll definitely be seeing what happens in the episodes to come. If you guys are enjoying the series just as much as I am, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and go ahead and check out my new uh, new song I got out. I actually released a song. It's called Looney Tunes, and it's out on my channel. You guys can go and give it a listen. Uh, it's not like the official track or anything like that, but it's definitely just like a little, little something I put out there for you guys. So go ahead and check that out and... Uh, let me know what you guys think. So, yeah. Um, without further ado, I'm just going to wrap this episode here. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.